lifestyle choices bundled with top of the line membership clubs and a wide array of amenities. Next, please. Okay, so are you ready to discover a life of infinite inspiration? Your dream of building treasured memories and fun moments for you and your family can happen now. So Anvaya Cove embraces the tranquility of the mountainside and the power of the open sea, the best of what nature has to offer. Some of you may be wondering, where is Anvaya Cove? So before we talk about the project itself, let me show you how you can get to Anvaya Cove from Manila. So here is a roadmap from Manila to Anvaya Cove. So actually from Makati, you could pass through the newly extended Skyway that will already lead you to the NLEX, to NLEX. And from NLEX, you'll head to Esitex and exit Subic. Then from there, it's just roughly 40 minutes to drive to An Anvaya Cove in Morong Bataan. So Balentowak to San Fernando is approximately one hour and 20 minutes. And San Fernando to Angeles is about roughly 30 minutes. So from Manila, it would take approximately two hours and a half. But I was able to do that last November. I think one hour 45 was the fastest time I've, I've reached there. But that, of course, was during the uh, lockdown. So I would assume it's because there was no cars on the road. Um, uh, follow, uh, next, we have um, approximately 40 minutes away is actually Ayala Arbor Point Mall, which is in Subic. So again, Subic is just roughly 40 minutes away from Nbayaku. And lastly, from Clark International Airport, it's approximately one hour and a half, if I'm not mistaken. All right, next, let's move towards the Anvaya Cove overview. So Anvaya Cove is located in Morong, Bataan, and it covers 620 hectares of land. It also has a large coastline of 3.5 kilometers with a peak elevation of 130 meters above mean sea level. The density of Anvaya Cove ranges from six to 13 lots per hectare. So given this, we take pride in giving our clients the luxury of space. So speaking from experience, I do actually live in one of the projects and I can attest to that there is so much space. And of course, the calmness and the security that, you, that you'd expect from Ayala and Premier is what we're offering you as well. Uh, next, we have, okay, moving forward. Let's talk about the master plan. So for every member of the family, Anvaya Cove has a nurturing environment filled with exciting activities that aim to bring balance to your mind, body, and spirit. So in the next photo, as was what was shown, this is an actual photo of our beach and nature club. So you can just imagine spending the day here with your loved ones and enjoying the wonderful scenery and watch the sunset together. Or if you wanna do any of your other leisurely activities on the beach that you normally do, you may do so as well. Okay, next we have the Beach and Nature Club. So for the Class B shares, it's defined as shares for individuals, corporations, associations, and partnerships with a maximum of one regular nominated uh, member. So it's one usage right. And for Class C shares, it's defined as juridical entities where corporations, associations, and partnerships can have a maximum of two nominated memberships or two usage rights. And if you would need to know the dependent's age to, uh, for the Beach and Nature Club for your kids, of course, it's at 25 years old and unmarried, of course. So next, we have the Beach and Nature Club. Uh, yes. Uh, can we go back, please? Yes. Um, yes. Okay. So our Beach and Nature Club has a coastline that stretches up to three and a half kilometers long. So you can do different types of activities with your family and friends along the beach. So like jogging, beach volleyball, or whatever hobbies that you may have, and Via Cove's Beach has all that space for that. So our beach also features natural fine sand, unlike in Manila where we only have artificial dolomite. So this is something that you can look forward to, which is something natural. Next we have, uh, can we go one slide back please? Okay, so Anvaya Cove is committed to preserving its environment by organizing programs you won't usually experience in the city. So programs such as sea turtle conservation, coastal cleanup, tree planting, bird watching, and of course, community drives. So I would suggest that you guys try and uh, join these programs because this is something of interest that I'm sure everyone would be interested in. Uh, next, we have the overview of the Beach and Nature Club. 
So the Beach and Nature Club also offers a full range of amenities and activities ideal for family and friends. Uh, we offer activities such as the infinity pool and lounge pools, a tennis court, game room, sunset bar, the Veda Spa, and much more. So if you'd like to find out more, uh, please do not hesitate to ask the property specialist who invited you here today. And now we move forward to the next slide, which is the golf and sports club. So set against stunning views of Subic Bay and of course the mountain ranges of Bataan, the golf course has won international awards for its elegant architecture and impressive facilities complemented by a sports club. So next, uh, the golf course covers 82 hectares and boasts an all-weather 18-hole par 72 championship golf course. So why not get the chance to experience what it's like to play in a go golf course like no other that is designed for champions? So next we have, oh, of course, if ever when, you, when you're done finishing golf throughout the whole day, you can enjoy a meal, enjoy the astonishing sunset or hang out in our Lakefront 9 restaurant, which you can see here on your screen. And of course, I just want to show you on the next slide. Um, so last October 28 and 2021, um, in the eighth annual World Golf Awards in Dubai, and via uh, Cove's golf course actually won the best golf course in the Philippines for 2021. So this is something to keep in mind. So when you invest in Anvaya, you, you may know that we are internationally recognized. So next to that, to add to this, Anvaya Cove's Golf and Sports Club also has its own pro shop, a horizon hall, and a bar and cafe. So if ever you do forget your golf equipment at home, you don't need to worry, it's because we got you covered. So that won't be a problem at all. So next we'll show the Golf and Sports Club. Um, so these are the shares. So as you can see, class it's, it's separated into class B and class C again. Um, if you would like to find out more regarding the shares of the Golf and Sports Club, and of course of the, um, the membership, please do talk to the, the property specialist who's, who's invited you today. So moving forward, I'd like to discuss first the Anvaya Cove residences before we get into the virtual tour itself. So feel at home and be encouraged to make new memories in a neighborhood that fuels your passions. Anvaya Cove presents a diverse portfolio of private neighborhoods and a mid-rise condominiums. So we have condominiums like Sea Breeze, Verandas, uh, townhouses like um, Seascape Ridge, and there, of course the residential lots, lots, which we will be presenting to you today. Um, all right, let's move forward. So we start with Seabreeze Verandas. So the land area of Seabreeze uh, Veranda is about four hectares and it comes with five buildings, which is A to E. So these buildings have four to seven floors. So you can just imagine how low it is. And the elevation of the Seabreeze Veranda is about 120 meters above mean sea level. So the next one I'd like to show you is actually the first neighborhood we'll be discussing in Envaya Cove and it is Hillside. So Hillside welcomes residents with lush nature and views of the sea. It is Anvaya Cove's newest neighborhood in the southern part of the leisure, leisure community. And the next photo, I'd like to show you a render of Hillside. So as you can see here, you'll notice that some of the lots have a slightly higher elevation compared to the others. So that's what you'd expect as the, for the terrain here in Hillside. And next, I'd like to talk about the development summary of Hillside. So just a quick brief overview. Hillside is 11 hectares with a total of 144 lots. Um, there are 13 lots per hectare with a size range of 400 to 590 square meters. As seen earlier, um, the terrain is gently rolling, which was shown in the rendering in the previous slide. So moving forward, I'd like to show you uh, Hillside hillside highlighted in the green at the bottom part of the photo. So as you can see, it is in the southern part of Anvaya Cove. And on the next slide, I'll show you how far it is from the main gate. Um, so th from the main gate, hillside is actually 3.7 kilometers, roughly five minutes drive. But then in the future, actually, in the next side, uh, the neighborhood entrance is on the right but there are also future plans of having an estate gate going to SBMA Morong Road. 
that will be connected to Hillside and of course our um, developments in the south part of Anvaya Cove. Uh, next slide, please. Here, yeah, here in the slide, this is what I mentioned where the future gate will be on the bottom. So at least there will be access for residents so it wouldn't be as far as driving three kilometers to get to your village. Next slide. Um, so Hillside actually, its turnover is set for the first quarter of 2025. So this is something to look forward to. And the price per square meter in Hillside, it, which is on the next slide, is actually 24,000 square meters, uh, 24,000 pesos per square meter. Okay, moving forward. Uh, let's go to the next slide, please. Yes, yeah, South Grove. Okay, so moving on, the second neighborhood we will be presenting is South Grove. So similar to, to Hillside, um, this neighborhood offers lots with views of the waters of Subic Bay and of course the Zambales mountain range. And on the next slide, let me show you just the quick map of how to get to South Grove. And as you can see, okay, so as you can see in this photo, South Grove is on the southern part of Anbaya Cove and it is right beside Hillside. It has a 3.7 kilometer distance um, from the main gate and it only takes approximately four minutes by car to drive to the beach and nature club and of course the golf and sports club. And as I mentioned earlier, there will be a future gate right beside South Grove and Hillside. So the southern part of Anbaya Cove would be more accessible and easier to get in and out of, of course. All right, so this is just a quick aerial shot of South Grove. And as you can see, it is very close to the bay. So you can relax and enjoy the view of the sea as you feel the wind and the sea breeze enter your homes. Another you can see here is actually the bike trail nearby. So if ever you are interested or if that is your hobby, at least you'll have this very close by your home. And on the next slide, I'll just give a quick summary of South Grove. So South Grove covers 6.5 hectares of land with a total number of 50 lots. Um, the density of South Grove will only compose of 12 lots per hectare with a lot sizes ranging from 480 square meters to 670 square meters. And on the next, I'd like to show you guys a rendering of the aerial view again of South Grove. So with this, you can see the terrain as well of South Grove. And you'll also notice that it's full of greenery and that the sea is very visible to the neighborhood. So this is something very interesting for this project here. And on the next slide, we'll have the turnover date for South Grove, which is actually this year, third quarter of this year. Something to look forward to. And next slide would be the price per square meter, which is 24,000 per square meter as well. So moving on, the next slide, we have the start of the virtual tour. So I will now hand the floor over to my partner, AC, so that she may discuss with you guys the virtual tour of Envaico. Thank you. Thank you very much, Luki. Um, thank you guys for coming again today to our virtual tour. Thank you, Luki, for that very, very comprehensive um, uh, overview of Enviaco. If you guys had questions or any queries about Enviaco, definitely um, Luki's one to ask. And whoever else invited you to this virtual tour, they're just as well versed with Envaya. And now I'm very, very excited to take you guys around Envaya, um, albeit virtually. So now let me just share my screen. Hold on. Okay, let me just switch to my other slide. Let, give me a thumbs up if you guys can, if you can see my screen. All right, hold on. Let me just make it full screen so that we can experience this in HD. Great, thank you guys for giving me a thumbs up. Again, I'm Alisa from Nielsen Group. I'm Luki's colleague, and I'll be showing you guys around Anvaya Cove virtually. So maybe some of you have already been to Anvaya Cove, and now that you've been oriented where exactly this beautiful estate is, I'll be showing you around. So this one is a virtual tour of Anvaya Cove, which was shot, I believe, in September of last year. So it's very, very recent. It was done via drone shot. Um, so it's multiple captures of drone shots pieced together and amazingly stitched into the seamless virtual tour. So let's orient ourselves uh, first and foremost. So here in the lower left, you have the main entrance. I hope you guys can see my cursor as well. You have the main entrance to Anvaya Cove. And the first thing you will see when you enter in the main entrance are our condo 
buildings. So these are the sea breeze verandas. We have four that are currently already constructed. Um, and the most recent one being building D, which was turned over actually, or is in the process of being turned over. Um, we also have here to the left-hand side of Anvaya as well, close to the highest part. So another thing to note is this area is the highest part of Anvaya Cove. And as we go down towards the golf club and beach and nature club, that's the lower portion, which is closest to the beach. So you can also see there's a helipad. Kung nagmamadali kayo pupunta Anvaya, you can land your helicopter with uh, prior clearance, of course, from management. Then you also have the seascape ridge or our townhouse quads located here. On the uh, most left-hand side, here towards the perimeter of Anvaya Cove, are our new villages, Hillside and South Grove. We'll go through that a bit more later, but first and foremost, let's show you guys the beach club. So for the people um, who've, who are attending right now, who've already been to Anvaya Cove, you know how beautiful the beach club has been constructed. Just from this aerial shot, you'll see how much trees surround the beach club. Um, the landscaping here is absolutely fantastic. Once you enter and get to the beach club area, you have the parking area, you leave your car, or you can get dropped off here in the welcome pavilion. And the first thing you'll see once you cross the welcome pavilion onto the beach club is the beautiful lagoon. So let's zoom in. Again, um, if you guys didn't know as well, the presentation Lucas used earlier is readily available to be sent to you guys if you'd like to study it a bit more. This virtual tour is also readily accessible to you guys. So if you'd like to see it, explore a bit more by yourself, um, we'll the, ask, the, ask the property specialist who invited you to this virtual open house and they'll be very happy to send it over to you guys. So let's zoom out a bit. Again, it's not just one pool here in Anvaya. We do have a pool complex composed of different types of pools. You have a lounge pool, lap pool, and a kiddie pool as well. Then we do have a lookout tower, and um, the pools do blend seamlessly into the cove, which you can see here. There you go. So this is where we also do our uh, turtle hatchlings, um, where we release them out into this area. Then again, from here, you can see Sunset Bar, Sunset Tower, but we can grill. So there's a multitude of dining and drinking choices here in Anvaya Cove. So you'll be, pre you'll be uh, very happy to see that we have all those choices for you. So let's check it out from the Lookout Tower as well. If you want to see the whole cove, as well as the rest of the pool area, you can go up to the Lookout Tower. There you go. Pool complex, hindi ka talaga maubusan ng pool when you go to Anvaya Cove. You can just choose. There you go. And one of the best times, honestly, to be at Anvaya Cove is during sunset. We have a fantastic view of the West um, Zambales Sea here. So sunset's definitely one of the best times to grab a beer and just relax while waiting for the sun to go down. Now let's move on. Again, Lucas did mention our... Um, golf course here in Anvaya Cove is a multi-awarded, internationally recognized golf course. I myself play golf. This is a difficult course as well, um, but definitely you'll be comforted by the views that you see in this um, golf course. So it kind of uh, has, so half of the golf course is mountainside. So the front nine is mountainside. You can see Mount Natib in the background. Then the other um, nine holes are towards the sea, with hole number 13 jutting out towards the sea the most. And I hope you guys are listening because most importantly, we'll be releasing new inventory um, close, very, very close by to these holes with an unobstructed view of the sea. So I'll discuss that a bit more, but make sure to keep uh, to take note of that right now. Um, so there. Again, we do have neighborhoods already that have been constructed, but this new neighborhood we're launching will be in this particular area. So do take note of that. Aside from um, the beautiful golf course, we do also have a driving range and practice greens here available for you. All right. Aside from the beach club and golf club, if those really don't suit your fancy, you want to do something else, um, hindi ka talaga mawawalan ng gagawin dito sa Anvaya Cove. And one of my favorite areas here in Anvaya is the sports center. So this is located in between the golf club and the beach club. So it's like a halfway area and it combines the best of both worlds with this pool complex, which we'll zoom into. 
there. So most of the time, also, this area is not uh, ever crowded. I've never seen this area crowded. We also have a sports court one and a sports court two where you can do a variety of sports. You can rent out um, badminton rackets. You can rent out basketball. And my favorite part of this area is it's where the gym is. So if you've spent the afternoon in the during the day prior uh, by drinking beer, you can burn it off here at the beautiful sports and fitness center. All right. So lastly, let's give some life to the residents, the residences that Lucas was talking about earlier. So this is the amazing um, Seabreeze Verandas or condominiums here in Envaya. You notice that it's only a few floors, very, very low density um, for these um, condominiums. And here, I'll show you guys the motor court as well. Parking here as well. Very beautifully landscaped, even up to the parking areas. You won't, parang hindi ka talaga, wala kang feeling na nasisiksik sa Envaya. It's very um, well-planned and blends seamlessly into nature as well. So here is the existing townhouse area, which we call our seascape ridges. Again, if you guys have questions, uh, you can type it in the chat box. We'll be happy to address it uh, later on. Sorry, the, there's a question uh, that we have in the chat box. We'll answer that later towards the end. So during my presentation, you may also ask questions and we'll address it towards the end of this presentation. All right, so aside, let's go and move on to our horizontal um, residential offerings here in Envaya or our residential lots. We do also have Brookside, which is a close by neighborhood. Um, it's already sold out, which is why we didn't discuss it. But uh, that's still available pre-selling if you guys are looking for that. You may also opt to wait list. Then the newer um, areas that we are marketing right now are the South Grove and Hillside neighborhoods. So these are in the southernmost portion of Anvaya Cove. So here. Again, um, it's really great that we have this type of virtual tour because you can already see exactly how it's going to, be, to look like um, since these are actual shots. They've even outlined which particular lots these are. You can even see up to the size that's available. So I think this virtual tour, if you still don't have time to go to Anvaya, is uh, an amazing tool if you're looking to invest in Anvaya. So again, if you want the replay of this virtual tour, we actually recorded this uh, presentation, the whole presentation, the entirety from Lucas's um, initial presentation of Anvaya Cove all the way up to this point. Um, and now that you guys have kind of have an idea of what Anvaya Cove is, where it is, how it looks like through this virtual tour, um, I'd like to talk about our new phase, which we're going to be launching very, very soon. Um, so. Like, uh, if you noticed earlier, the prices in the other phases are around 24,000 per square. We'll ask what, and our new phase is 48 to 70,000 per square. You ask, you might ask your property specialist, why is it such a huge jump from the old phases up to this phase? Well, this is really one of the only phases with unobstructed views of the sea. So we have a lot of clients always looking for, gusto ko yung sea view, sea view, um, hindi yung probability of a sea view, but a guaranteed sea view. This is the phase to look at. So if you have the chance, um, you have the budget, hopefully for this particular um, lot in Envaya, there's no better phase to look at than our upcoming phase that will be launching very, very soon. So another reason why the lots are pretty expensive is that there are only 40 lots that are going to be released and at the average size of almost 1,000 square meters. So right now we are accepting letters of intent with signed reservation form and checks. Although if you're already an Envaya Cove um, shareholder, you may also issue just a check for the lot. Uh, uh, additionally, as well, uh, what we'll be doing through, for this new phase is a priority selling. So let me, if you're not familiar yet with the, our Ayala Land Premier's priority selling process, let me run through it very quickly. So priority selling is an opportunity to purchase properties before they're offered publicly. So when you join a priority selling, you um, will be choosing from inventory that has not been offered yet to the public, which is why we have our letter of intent system, which happens before priority selling. What's the advantage of joining priority selling? Why can't I just wait for it to be publicly offered? Well, when you do join priority selling, it's the chance to invest at initial offer prices and at full inventory. Most of the time when we do a priority selling, hindi na umaabot sa public selling yung inventory, which is why we do priority sellings. 
All right. Um, then, yun, if you want to learn more about the priority selling process of Ayala Land Premier, kindly uh, message whoever invited you to this um, virtual tour. And also, additionally, if you guys want to look at South Grove, the other phases that were not that are at 24,000 per square, or if you want to look at Hillside, um, which are all which is also priced at 24,000 per square, I would highly encourage you to wait list because we do have lots that reopen. So if our new phase is beyond your budget, but you still want to get a piece of Envia Cove, you want to experience the beach club, the nature club, the sports club, and but then this is the um, kind of price range you're looking at. Then Hillside and South Grove are perfect for you. And there, I would very highly uh, recommend that you waitlist with us through um, whoever invited you to this virtual open house. So if there are any questions, please type it in the chat box and I'd be happy to address these questions. So I think we have a question earlier from Sir Song, just to clarify, golf shareholders can have access to the beach amenities while beach shareholders won't have access to the golf club. Is, that, is this correct? Yes, you are correct. So golf club shareholders have um, or are members of both the golf club and beach club, which is why their share is more expensive. Um, but beach club shareholders only have access to the beach club and not the golf club. So if you're not a, an avid golfer and you would just like access to the beach and the sports center, you can opt to just get a beach club. And I think one thing also that uh, we might have not covered earlier is when you do uh, avail of a property here in Anvaya, you would also need to um, purchase a share. So there are two separate purchases, but they are made in tandem. Um, and you can't just buy a share itself and you can't just buy a lot itself unless you go to the secondary market. So any other questions? I'd be happy to add, uh, address these questions while we're here now. I'll, wait, uh, I'll give you guys maybe two minutes before in case you have any questions. If not, again, if you want to see this presentation, just want to go through it and study it a bit more, ask the property specialist who invited you today to send it over to you. And as well as this virtual tour, it's very available online. No more questions? If there are no questions, um, I'd like to thank everyone who came out today. Uh, again, we're from the Nielsen Group of Ayala Land Premier. Uh, with the Nielsen Group, we have these amazing um, virtual tours, um, uh, estate tours every weekend. We have it every Sunday. So if you want to stay in the loop, you want to know where to invest, especially when it comes to Ayala Land Premier projects, um, contact your agent of choice. And from, our, from the Nielsen Group 